Welcome back to the channel i'm judith if you are new here thank you so much for coming back to watch another video so recently i wish i could show my email to you i have a lot of people asking me to do a detailed video on the kumasi international airport project this time it is not at all but people are interested in a detailed kind of information so i was like i'll take my time get all my facts right and come back to do the video for you guys so um the kumasi international airport um if i'm to date back back in the 1940s it was approved in the 1940 and then operations started in 1943 after that a series of development activities were carried out on the runway between 1958 and 1959 so from that time till 2018 then a construction started and then the project type was the airport expansion that we all know about so the kumasi international airport is located in kumasi which is the capital city of ashanti region ghana and is operated by the government of ghana so the airport offers domestic aviation services to passengers in the ashanti region and nearby areas that is the nearby regions it is regarded as one of the busiest airports in the country so known for its regional airline operations the kumasi international airport is undergoing an expansion to transform it into a full-fledged international airport as in we all know it's a busy airport and order but now this expansion project is actually transforming it into an international airport and then the expansion project forms part of the multimodal transportation system being developed by the government of ghana to enhance tourism in the ashanti region so that being said i'm going to give you some um, details of some of the things that can be found inside the airport or some of the details of the expansion project so we know there's an extension of the runway so that um major international flights will be able to come through and then we have a taxiway and then feather light installations are going to be made on the taxiway we have a huge office for the ghana airport company limited we have an apron two aero bridges and also we have commercial spaces that is stores restaurants and more we have an ultra modern washrooms like any airport is supposed to have and then this airport is also is also disability friendly that is they have um lifts elevators and all that and also there is going to be the provision of visa on arrival services also we have a control tower so basically if you don't know what a control tower is a control tower is simply a service provided by ground-based aircraft controllers so these air traffic controllers direct the aircraft on the ground and also through controlled airspace and can provide advisory services to aircraft. all this being said i'm going to give the actual details of the runway extension and then the extension is going to be from 1981 to 2300 that means it can accommodate the boeing aircraft also like strangely or surprisingly the terminal 
can have this like once it's done it has the capacity to accommodate 1 million passengers per year Most of the times when I upload a video on this project, I take my time to read through the comment section and I get to see a lot of people complain that, oh, the terminal is too small, blah, blah, blah. But to be very honest, something that can accommodate 1 million passengers isn't small. And with what I saw with my eyes, the terminal is not small. Also, I know that the mostly asked question is when is it going to be completed? This is a question that when the regional minister visited the project two months ago, he said by October 2022, which is next year, the project should be ready. So yeah, this is all that I have to say. Thank you so much for watching this video and yeah, stay updated for more. If you are new to the channel, please why don't you take some time to subscribe to my channel yeah see you in another video peace out